Hey guys, this is my uh, Kooksa that I worked on. As you, I got the inside smoothed out rather well. Uh, I sanded down the front and the sides. Got rid of like 95. Hold on, let me restart the film. Maybe it'll be not so. Yeah, so what I did, I sanded it all down the best I could. I have the bowl really deep. I have my thumb or my finger hole there, and then I have a gouge that I took out here for my thumb so I can actually hold it kind of like a pistol grip. This was a little bit longer right here, but I uh, sliced it off. I figured unnecessary weight. So uh, it's 95% done. What I'm going to do now is just uh, put some oil on it and I'll show you the finished product. I'm going to also uh, drill a hole right about there. That way I could tie a lanyard to it and I could just loop it on my belt or my bag. But this is my finished kooks and I hope you like it. I'll show you as soon as it's... Okay guys, so this is my finished product. I just put basic mineral mineral oil on it. Sorry for the noise, I'm sitting by my turtle tank. He's down there staring at me right now. He's huge. I have to let him go this spring. He looks a lot smaller on camera, but he's big. This is a 35 gallon tank. He's huge. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so I put, I just put one coat of mineral oil on it. Uh, I'm not planning on drinking out of it. I just wanted to know that I'm able to do this. Uh, it changed a little bit. It has a slight yellow tint to it. I mean, it doesn't have the, the grain I was hoping for. You can see the handle there has it. And I'll tell you why in a second. This was like one of the hardest things I've ever done so far with making stuff by hand. The most labor intensive. I had it for a long time. Uh, if you check out my uh, 180 Sierra saw review, this is the wood that I cut down. So when I cut it, it was green. And I started the kooks out of it when it was still green. And what I did here is, uh, I didn't even think about it, but I actually used the literal center part of the log. You can see right there. And on the inside. And down here. Just the literal center of the log. And the oil brought out my fire burns. Which I don't mind, because I cleaned up the sides. I mean, in reality, I'm going to be drinking from the side. And, you know, I don't really care about a little fire burn. I'm pleased with it. Uh, I'll show you how much water okay, it holds so I in thought, a minute. What better way to show you how much it holds than to grab the measuring cup and do it that way. I'm going to fill it up to a half a cup there on the line. You have to excuse me. I'll see if I can do this. On camera here. I want to check for leaks also. Being that it was green. Well, what do we have there? That's leaders. Oh, yeah, I gotta dump the water out of the measuring cup and measure what I just dumped in because I have the cup on the angle, so I can't tell. As you can see, it's entirely full. It holds a decent amount of water. It's no drips whatsoever. I was afraid of that because I postponed for a while. I cut my basic uh, shape. And then I just left it go for a long time. I was trying to let it dry out because it was so green. Yeah, I'll dump this in the measuring cup and see what I actually have. Yeah, it holds a third cup of water. Not that bad, you know. 
seems like it holds more, but it holds a third of a cup. It isn't too bad. It isn't too bad. Overall, I'm pleased with it. You know, it it's a cool little device to know how to make in a worst case scenario. Well, that was my uh, segment on creating a kooksa. Sorry I didn't do more uh, in-depth video while I was actually doing it. I mean, clearly you could tell I made it, you know. It's not like I went out and bought it and just burned it for the hell of it. <sighs> I enjoyed this. I hope you did. Like I said, sorry I didn't bring you more in-depth, but oh, it took a long time. That neither of us want to waste. Thank you.